Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zinke and in today's video, I thought I'd share how I did CTA at Tunisia without paying for it. So I'm a qualified child accountant, I qualified in 2020 and in 2018 I did my CTA level 2 at Tunisia without paying for it. Yes, you guessed it, I got a bursary. So I didn't know at that time that Tunisia had bursaries for anything. I was just scrolling through Facebook um, and I came across this post in their website, in their Facebook page, where they were like, uh, bursary is out, closing date 29 January. I was just like, I didn't know this existed. And at that time, you know, I was financially stretched. <laughs> That's the new word for being broke. I was broke. I actually didn't have a cent in my bank account. Um, so and uh when i looked into the requirements i first thought that i didn't qualify but me being me i decided that i wasn't going to disqualify myself so i applied for this it was just one page that you need to fill fill it out and then you email um the thing is that you need so they don't tell you immediately like they don't they didn't send any email to say i received the bursary and it only came through in march so that means i had to pay for my registration fee first and then uh, when it came through in March, they refunded me my registration fee. Yes. So I applied like that. Just sent that form. I didn't even attach my um, uh, academic record and so forth because I was already a student. I think if you are not a student, you should you definitely have to attach those documents. But for me, I was already like a student at the institution. So I just sent the form. Yes, I got it, which was great because at that time i didn't have a job even the registration i paid it using my credit card yeah um also i got um classes from ca campus shout out to ca campus for supporting me in 2018 um so ca campus also posted something on their page uh, about classes and all you needed to do was just send an email to say why you think you deserve the bursary and i decided to do that i just wrote the paragraph and i felt it was good enough and yes they granted the bursary to me so i'm so grateful they did that because it really helped me um so in 2017 when i did my level one and level two level one i took classes uh from edge business school in johannesburg in mill and i was paying for my unisa fees now that was the first time ever in my life i had to pay so much money towards my studies it, it was just like damn being an adult is, is 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 tough you know and i was paying around about forty four thousand, if i remember twenty two thousand for edge business school and twenty one thousand or twenty two thousand as well for um unisa it was a lot of money and i was doing my articles at a small firm and i was only getting paid guys eight thousand right it, it was just not enough. I was paying my rent. I had to drive to work every day. I had to put fuel in my uh, car. I had to pay Edge on a monthly basis and Unisa. At some point, I stopped paying Unisa because I felt like this was just unrealistic. I was just living in my own world because it was just 8,000 rent. 2,000 rent was going to Edge Business School every, every month. My rent, I think that time was like 2.5. I had to pay for my fuel, I had to pay for my food, so it was just not realistic. But anyway, so I was so glad that in 2018 I didn't have to pay a cent for my studies. And in that year at work, they had a program as well where we, we would sign up for it and you would choose your option. There were different options. I chose the test option because I already, already had classes with CA campus, so I couldn't take two classes. But this program, we would pay for it. Like I would pay for it on a monthly basis. And if I do pass at the end of the year, then um, the firm would refund me. So by the end of that year, the firm refunded me. Also, you know, 2018 was just a nice year, except that I had to study hard. Also, at the end of that year, um, CA Campus had a competition where um, you just need to take a picture wearing the CA Campus t-shirt and create a picture. Did I not do that to win a thousand rand? <laughs> I made sure <laughs> that I'm part of the list of people and I won the thousand rand. 
So yeah, that's how I actually did my CTA level two without paying for it. So if you do check the UNISA website, I think, and you just Google um, UNISA bursaries, you will see on there, on the, uh, that they do advertise their bursary for both undergrad and, and postgrad. Um, and it's usually open in January until early February. I don't know if things have changed or not, but it was just one form that you need to fill that time. Probably if things have changed now, you just do it online. I don't know. But yes, do check it out. Also, in all these other uh, um, companies that are running their own um, classes, they do share bursaries. I know Edge Business School used to also have um, a bursary program. So check them out. I don't know if they still did, but they were good at the time when I attended in 2017. CA Campus you know top notch that's what i'm gonna say top if you if you want to pass your management accounting you better you better get hold of sarah that was my struggle <laughs> managing accounting was a very difficult module for me and 2018 let me tell you it was not a challenging module 2018 in fact auditing was the problem um and everything else was fine and Sarah used to just explain it very easily. So do get hold of them. And in all the other modules were cool, but I'm just gonna say Sarah specifically because I struggled with Manic a lot in my undergrad as well as CTA and level one. Um, I remember at Edge Business School, there was this guy who was really good as well. But I used to say that he was, he was too advanced for me. I needed someone who was gonna make it basic. But I think he passed on. May he so rest in peace. He was Nizam Baker. Nizam was great, guys. Like, I would go to his classes, I'll sit there, and I'll get the concept. But then when I went home, I don't know what's happening here. But he was good. He was good. Um, so I don't know who replaced him there. But uh, financial accounting, it was also great at Edge Business School. But I'm going to say, do apply for those uh, bursaries, um, both at uh, UNISA as well as those institutions.